the world is in you. You're always online. You're always connected. This is not actually a drug, but rather a device. I love being super organized. I don't have to remember anything. It'll set reminders for me, filter my news and social media in one place. I'm really impressed with how easily I was able to master it. It's like I was born this way. Far-fetched? Not really. In just the first half of last year, venture capital firms invested $700 million developing wearable, edible, and embedded devices. According to McKinsey, big data could be worth $300 billion annually to the healthcare industry alone. And why is big data such a big topic today? According to the NPD Group, there are now more connected devices in the U.S. than there are people. By 2020, there will be 31 billion devices used by the 4 billion people connected to the Internet. And all of these devices will be receiving and generating data. This explosion of devices has been termed the Internet of Things. So how big is big data? Last year, the total amount of data created was enough to fill a stack of DVDs that could reach to the moon and back. Today, the average person processes more data in a single day than the person in the 1500s did in an entire lifetime. In 2020, the data we generate will be 57 times the amount of sand on all of the beaches in the world. So what exactly is big data? It is defined on three dimensions, velocity, volume, variety. Velocity, data is being generated faster than ever before. Volume, it is so big it has outgrown today's server technologies. Variety, it has increasing amounts of structured and unstructured formats, from text to tweets to video. But ultimately, data represents value, which is why entrepreneurs say that big data is the new oil. By applying the right technology, businesses are expected to quickly derive insights to improve their bottom line and outpace the competition. What does this mean for our industry? Let's take a glimpse of how big data will impact beauty through product launch 2020. Big data will bring value to beauty companies, enabling cost savings, speed to market, and greater return on investment. Let's take a look at six ways big data will impact beauty innovation, starting with concept testing. Product experience is based on a range of cues that are not always conscious. However, most companies today still rely on surveys and focus groups to uncover consumer preferences. We know the medical industry is using ingestible sensors to track patients' usage of medication. So why not beauty? In 2020, we predict sensors will be molded into product packaging to track actual consumer usage behavior. These sensors will show us where and how our consumers are using our products, how much, and how often. For example, in a recent survey, Consumers claimed that they apply five strokes of mascara to each eye. But when counted during actual usage observation, it was closer to 50. We also see sensors bringing innovation with biology. We all have variations of the biological factors that affect the way each of us ages. But today, we only look at skin health when assessing aging. In the future, we will understand how each individual makes and retains collagen how well their skin is protected, and how quickly they recover from UV damage. This biological data will be loaded into a digital database and data mined to identify groups of consumers with converging skincare needs. Companies can then marry these needs with active ingredient information to develop the most effective products possible. Delivering successful innovation is key for high-performing companies. But in the beauty industry today, we see that only 8% of prestige beauty retail sales were from true innovations or newness in the marketplace. Our research indicates that over 80% of new product launches fail annually, and the number one reason is that they did not meet consumer needs. By 2020, we predict 
New technologies will allow us to quickly aggregate big data across several macro factors, revolutionizing the way we gather consumer insights and identify gaps within product offerings. For example, in this virtual trending scenario, there's a prediction that employment rates will rise for women despite a downturn in the economy. Social media sentiment reveals that working women are more stressed and have less time to dedicate to beauty rituals. They are choosing nail accessories to treat themselves during this poor economy. Search analytics show that women are looking to update their look more often. Sales trends indicate strong growth predictions through 2025 in the nail category, outpacing total beauty. And product sensors have populated data of nail polish revealing that women are beginning to change their nail look two to three times per week. By gaining these insights, a nail company could identify an opportunity to create nail polish that updates instantly with a UV wand. But big data will not only improve the product development process, it will also affect the supply chain. Today, over $800 billion in sales are lost annually due to distribution challenges. For retailers, out of stocks leap to dissatisfied shoppers, and for brands, a lost sale to competition. Overstock also leads to heavy discounting or returns, which not only negatively impacts brand profit, it can also lead to diminished brand equity. In 2020, we predict digital technologies and big data will allow retailers and manufacturers to break down silos that exist in inventory management and provide full visibility across channels. With these technologies, brands will be able to partner with retailers to ensure the right stock is available in the right place at the right time. This will enable real-time visibility, better planning, improved customer service levels, and most importantly, shopper satisfaction. We see data improving executional elements as well. Last year, the professional hair care industry estimated diversion at $273 million of total annual hair care sales. Today, industries are using radio frequency ID tags as a solution to transfer data for the purposes of automatically identifying and tracking objects. This disruptive technology is the backbone of the Internet of Things. In 2020, we will combine this technology with GPS and advanced analytics. For the first time ever, companies will have vital data containing real-time information about consumers and products, even samples. On a typical fragrance launch, a beauty brand can spend an estimated 6% of projected retail sales on sampling. But what do we achieve from sampling? Do we know where a product was sampled? who received it, and if they enjoyed it enough to purchase. This new technology system will answer these questions and also have the ability to accurately identify new customers, better anticipate demand, and foresee what products might perform the best in different regions. In 2020, 65 will be the new 25. According to NPD, one in six people will be over the age of 65 and 24% more people will reach 100 years of age. Not surprisingly, the U.S. anti-aging market is projected to skyrocket to $144 billion annually. In the future, a digital platform in consumers' homes will use facial recognition and biometric technology to provide recommendations that will prevent or reduce aging. We predict it will have three elements and look like this. First, intrinsic biometrics will detect information about your skin health, moisture, collagen, and elastin levels. Second, extrinsic measurements will capture elements like pollution, UV rays, and climate conditions. And finally, data will track and monitor behaviors that impact aging and skin health like stress, exercise, sleep, and water intake. Once the technology captures this information, it exports a profile of your skin health and suggests specific product and behavior recommendations. It then calculates 
your anti-aging index and projects your future aging profile based on these three elements. With continuous data processing and regular input, the platform will empower you with hyper-personalized recommendations to minimize the effects of aging. From product innovation all the way to consumer relationship management, the future of big data and beauty looks pretty amazing. And while 2020 holds groundbreaking possibilities, there are happenings with big data that can impact business today. We recommend you focus on four key big data elements. People, platforms, privacy, and personalization. Today, 93% of beauty organizations do not have a data dedicated function. Data is often generated and disseminated within the sales and finance teams instead of cross-pollinating across the company. To address this, we introduce the new data-centric organization. In this new model, data is at the core. It feeds into and connects all elements of the company through a newly created function of data strategy. This new group receives data from both internal and external sources. Data is analyzed and strategies are implemented across the company to affect everything from product development to execution. Finding data experts to lead these functions is already a challenge. Big companies like American Express are actually buying smaller analytics companies to acquire talent in this field. By 2020, there will be a shortage of 200,000 data scientists in the workforce. The beauty industry needs to start recruiting, acquiring, and developing data scientists now. And while companies have an ocean of data, in a recent survey of over 1,000 brand marketing experts, only 12% claim to have access to actionable data. In order to be effective, you need to know what data to focus on and what to push aside. Start with your business objectives. Eliminate irrelevant data so that big data can go to work generating the desired results. For example, in 2010, a Singapore taxi company was looking to expand its customer base and increase taxi bookings. The company invested $8 million in big data ramping up its booking system and tracking its fleet of taxis through billions of data points, including GPS, weather patterns, consumer usage, and traffic trends. In just two short years, the company tripled its revenue and increased taxi bookings by 251%. Privacy is also a concern. Over 90% of internet users are worried about their privacy, and it's the top reason why non-users still avoid the internet. Oh, the camera? Don't worry, we're not taping you. The current patchwork of privacy laws fails to provide comprehensive protection, which causes confusion, distrust, and skepticism. When it comes to preserving privacy, you must invite your consumers to share personal information with you in exchange for some type of value add. Then, when speaking with them, you must only use information which they have knowingly shared with you in order to build a loyal and trusting relationship. Beyond privacy, though, it's difficult to know exactly who your consumer target is. You need to go deeper to understand them, as inaccurate personalization could lead to missed opportunities. For example, when the credit agencies undervalued the probability of failure in the U.S. housing markets in the mid-2000s, they based their assumptions on data pulled from the housing stats from the boom years. It was a recipe for egregiously wrong predictions, as there were many observations, but no variance to show how the housing system would function under different conditions. This mistake demonstrates the importance of testing. You must ensure you are constantly testing with the control group to capture real-time learnings and evolve your targeting. Once you find the right consumer targets, you then need to focus on the areas that will generate the biggest return. For example, Express looked at their segmentation data and discovered that a small segment of their customers actually represented the majority of their profit. These consumers preferred added value offers. By sending them personalized emails and tailored promotions, they achieved a 400% increase in response rates and a 300% increase in their lifetime value. Big data will change the world as we know it. It is estimated to be worth $300 billion a year to the healthcare industry. We'll increase operating margins by 60% in the retail sector, and we'll save over $150 billion in government spending through added efficiencies. We in the beauty industry need to act today to capture the value that big data and associated analytics represent. And by the way, 
Since we started this presentation, over 1,200 hours of video have been uploaded to YouTube, 5 million tweets have been generated, and 3.7 billion emails have been sent. Within those data elements lies a wealth of information and insight. If you don't act on big data today, where will your business be in 2020?